Developing collocation. Many people agree that red wine goes better with red meat, like lamb or beef, while white wine is a better match for white meat, such as chicken and fish. In the same way, some words go together, while others do not. For example, we say strong coffee, but not powerful coffee. This tendency for certain words to appear together is called collocation in linguistic terms. It is important to have a good knowledge of collocation in order to achieve a high score in lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy. When I was writing the body paragraph of the museum essay, I almost wrote big achievements instead of great achievements. But as I started to write big achievements, I suddenly thought that it sounded unnatural. To check my feeling, I used an online tool that searches through corpora, which are large collections of real-world searchable text. The online tool is called COCA, the Corpus of Contemporary American English. According to COCA, great achievement is indeed more frequent than big achievement. According to this search, Big achievement does not even make it into the top 100 collocates. Interestingly, biggest achievement comes in at number 39, and great achievement comes in at number 9. This proves that my feeling was correct. Big and achievement do not usually go together, but great and achievement do. You can also see that many of the most common collocates for achievement are related to academic study. Academic, student, reading, mathematics, educational, school, and so on. You should keep this in mind, because the next time you have to write about an educational topic, you'll have some great vocabulary that you can use. You can also use online tools such as COCA to check your collocations while you're practicing for your IELTS writing exam. At the time of recording this video, COCA is free to use, although you should first register with an email address. I will not explain how to use COCA in this video, because there are plenty of videos available on YouTube that show you how to do this. But I do recommend that you learn how to use COCA, so that you can check whether your choice of vocabulary is natural, just like I did with Big Achievement. In this video, I've introduced you to some online tools that you can use to improve your lexical range and your collocation. It is really important to remember that your ability to use high-level vocabulary will improve with time. You need to practice and be patient and be consistent. And you need to have realistic and reasonable expectations about what you can achieve in the time frame.